Hi everyone. Hope everything's going great with you. Yesterday I spent most of the day um, with the computer support group. Uh, apparently I had uh, either deleted uh, the Word program on Sylvia's computer or um, as the support group said there was the uh, programs were all messed up because of virus and contamination they said. Well <laughs> Uh, a lot of dollars and hours later, of which I had neither time to waste, um, I still didn't have my uh, my Word program, but they did put a substitute in that works, and uh, there's a lot more space in there, and now I have a, a support program that I really didn't want or need, but apparently is the only way to get from A to B. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's life, I guess, huh? <laughs> anyway, I saw a great article on links uh, on Thursday, I think it was. Uh, it was by a guy named Saeed Al-Muntafiq. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, I believe he's a Saudi Arabian. It was called Sailing Your Team Through Rough Waters. Yeah, it's great advice for leadership for any venue, really. Uh, understanding proper training for the team members, realistic expectations relative to skills, stopping verbal harassment and abuse, yelling doesn't work, leading and mentoring does, etc., etc. Yeah, I think we've been both on, all, always have been, uh, I think all of us have been on one side or other or both of those doors as we've grown up and advanced through age. Huh? Food for thought. Very good. You know I love Modern Family. Uh, Lucia, my stepdaughter, thinks it's an exact replica of <laughs> my loving feisty Latina Sylvia's in my marriage. Uh, Ed O'Neill and Sophia Vergara have nothing on us. Uh, ah, I'm a little older than my beautiful wife Sylvia, uh, 15 years, and uh, She's from Guatemala, not Chile, as uh, Chile is uh, Sofia's character's uh, home base, and I think Sof uh, really Sofia herself is from Colombia. Uh, but anyway, other than the fact that uh, I speak Spanish and that character doesn't, uh, there's a lot of similarities. <laughs> Life is fun. And although I'm getting rusty uh, in my Spanish, uh, I get it reinforced when Sylvia's family comes up from Guatemala. But <laughs> Porque no le hablan inglés. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my own if I don't get my Spanish back in, in gear. But I, I do pretty well. I do pretty well. It's fun. Um, you know, life is wonderful. It really is. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> uh, if you want to see my lovely wife, Sylvia, you can go to my uh, Facebook fan page, Jay Mawinney Actor, and uh, she's on the cover picture with me. We're having dessert at a little restaurant in, in Vegas. It was the last day of a veterinary conference, and uh, it was we had fun then. It was a good picture. <laughs> hey, I, I'm really enjoying Veep. Veep is a really fun series on HBO, and uh, the LA Times had a nice article about uh, Julia Lewis Dreifer. Dreifer, whoops. Julia Lewis Dreyfus in her great role, but also the producing and uh, advising role that she has. She she's kind of wears a bunch of hats in this thing. Looking forward to the next season. I'm going to have to get it on Netflix, but that's fine. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> on the front page of the LA Times on Wednesday, they actually had something really positive. It was really amazing. Yeah, it was in the middle of all the Korean stuff and other crap going on, but uh, a guy named George Sarabia, a gang intervention worker, has calmed the storm a good bit in Boyle Heights. Uh, this is a predominantly all Latino uh, area in Los Angeles. Uh, I, I went there to their um, uh, Plaza del Fiesta uh, back in 2003 when I was still singing uh, boleros and things. I had just come up from living in Mexico for a couple of years. And some of my Spanish-speaking uh, um, fellow actors and singers were performing there, and I, I got to see it. And it was obviously a, <laughs> a community that uh, I didn't want to be there at nightfall. Not, not too far into it, anyway. It, uh, it's not Gringolandia. 
Uh, and apparently it's not uh, a nice area for blacks either. There was a um, gang called Big Hazard that had been keeping the black residents in fear of their lives for probably 10, 15 years. And this guy uh, calmed the storm. He settled things down. I really had to tell him that. Uh, thank God. I can't understand uh, the hatred between African Americans and Latinos. And for heaven's sakes, there's a huge number of uh, the Latin population that has African American blood in it. Uh, the Brazilians, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the uh, Dominican Republicans, the um, even Guatemala has a big section. That it was from, sadly enough, the Spanish slave trade in the early days, but. Uh, they're all one, and they get along pretty well. I don't understand this crap. I really don't. But you know, it doesn't make sense ever to have interracial hatred. It doesn't, doesn't belong anywhere with anyone, does it? Yeah. Rednecks are just as bad. Oh, actually worse, because we have all the opportunities in this country, and to, to have us be so jealous of other people is just ridiculous. Anyway, um, on the other hand, uh, that may be getting better in Boyle Heights, but there's still 35 people a day being killed in narco gang violence in Mexico. <laughs> What's the old saying? Uh, why can't people just get along? <laughs> Think positive. Have a wonderful day. Remember, today's the first day of the rest of your life. See you next time. <laughs>